Welcome to part nine of the Bugatti Bolain design. And um, it's been a few days since I uh, uploaded for uh, the next tutorial. Um, sorry about that. I got some other things that going, but uh, let's probably give you some time to, to learn about the car, maybe. All right, so uh, let's have a look at what we're going to do in this tutorial. So this, what are you going to do in this tutorial is it's a surface surface over surface and then it's a double surface and it's always a, a complicated one, especially on this one because it connects here and then it overlaps onto that one. So we got a connecting surface here, but then the connecting surface breaks off and then overlaps over onto that one. And we also have to create this curvature here that we have. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to carry this surface here and then we're going to create a, sur a curvature here that kind of similar to going all the way into this area here. All right, so uh, let's start with um, coming to this uh, display state one here and uh, let's hide some lines here that we don't need. So we're going to hide this one here, this two. And I'm going to hide these two lines here as well. And let's just quickly jump over to second display state and hide it from here as well. Hide this one as well. Okay. And uh, we're not going to use uh, this line here. So hide that and hide this one. And then we're going to hide these two lines here as well. Two points. And then jump back to the first display state. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to apply an appearance on the body so we can see through it. So that's going to be a blue glass and we're going to apply it for the whole thing. And uh, we're going to make a sketch on the top lane and then press normal to profile. And the first points we're going to add is these two points here. So we want to be uh, kind of um, relatively at the same distance from this edge here. So let's grab that point. And then one of them is going to fall to about uh, here. And I press escape on the keyboard to escape from that one. And then grab, grab another point and we want to make sure we kind of on the same distance from this point and that line here so it's about that much here so we can kind of eyeball that so the second one is going to be about here and then we are almost yeah we are on the point on that one so exit the sketch and then we're just going to build a uh, scaffolding line construction line and that's going up from these two points here so Let's jump into a 3D sketch and we jump into a 3D center line and we want to grab onto these points that we've just made and we want to make sure that we are on XY plane, uh, either XY or ZY as, and if you're not, you can just press tab on your keyboard and that will change it into that, uh, change it into that, uh, direction so y direction okay so exit that one and then we're going to grab another center line and then I grab it from this point here and then we bring it all the way up here okay exit the sketch and then we're going to exit this through the sketch because we're gonna start a new one and just click on the front plane so we can get a normal to profile and the next one we're going to do is grab another 3D sketch and then the 3D point. And that 3D point is going to be on that line. So then we're not going to go too close to this edge, but a little bit up. So somewhere about here. And then the same height we're going to use on uh, this side as well. So somewhere about here. And that is uh, very similar. All right. So exit this one here. And then of course we're going to jump in and grab an all brand new 3D sketch. 
and then it's going to be a 3D spline and we're going to grab it from this point to this point here that we just made and let's make sure we're not clicking on uh, we're not snapping on this line here so let's stay on this point here so exit this sketch here and then we grab onto this point and we're just going to pull it into perpendicular with the line kind of and that looks good in the back here and maybe we're gonna pull it just a little bit forward on this side all right and then once that's good you know just jump into the top view here quickly and then let's just adjust it to that line here so as we can see it's not a straight line it's not a straight line so and then something like that okay so that line is perfect for us and we're going to exit this sketch and that line is already in a good place for us over there all right so let's leave that and then the next uh, sketch we're going to create is going to be in the top plane here make a sketch it is it is not a 3d sketch so be careful with that one and then we're going to grab a, a spline and then we're going to grab that spline from somewhere about here it's no problem if it goes past that one that's fine and we're going to bring that line all the way up to the middle section somewhere up here and we're going to exit the sketch and then uh, let's click on this line and pull this line into so we're going to follow this line all the way into that all right so let's do that so let's pull this line here and let's pull this line a little bit here forward kind of curves into that much and then um and that is actually spot on on that one and then maybe pull this a little bit like that and then I pull this a little bit back so that one is right on spot looking good and maybe pull this back a little bit just a tiny bit and that looks good all right that's fantastic okay so uh we, for now um let's exit this sketch here all right and then we need to get another sketch and we're going to make the sketch on this front plane here and press normal to profile and then we what we're going to get is we're going to get this curvature here and that starts from about in this corner here so you got this boiler in the rear and uh, believe it or not it actually starts from here so let's grab that spine and then we're going to grab that spine right from um right from this corner all the way down a little bit past that one so we're going to go a little bit past it um, just a tiny bit exit the sketch and let's pull this line let's pull this spline into position and if we pull this to here and pull this line forward so we don't need to add any so yeah as i mentioned before you know the less blind points we have the better and uh, that curvature is already starting to look good for us okay so that looks good all right and then we're going to exit the sketch and as you can tell we're going to do a sketch and sketch so we can get that curve so this curve and this curve all right and let's jump over to our second display state and have a look at that curvature all right so that curvature looks really good okay so that looks good and then let's grab another um let's grab another 3d sketch 
3D spline from, uh, we're going to get it from this corner here. So when it gets black, uh, so when the dot turns into black, you know, you're on the corner. And I'm not going to drop it on the edge because obviously it will, it could do it. But um, I want to do it a bit, put it a bit there. And then I just pull it until it stops. And then I know for sure that it's the right at the end of it. All right. <clears throat> So let's click on this front view here and press normal to profile. And we're going to give this curvature a little bit of profile, uh, a little bit of from this this side and a little bit from this side. And we want to make sure that we'll ha it will have a little bit of step, a little bit of edge here. And if it's not, we're going to come back and then edit it to have that. Okay. So once you have that one, once we have that one, um, once we have that one, we're going to exit the sketch. And the next one, the sketch we need to do is going to be, let's jump over to our first display state and click on normal to profile. And obviously, we want to grab from here to this point here, and then we want to get from that point. So, second display state, and then let's grab a 3D sketch and a 3D spline. So, we're gonna when we want to go from this point, and we want to go from this point on here. So, basically. That is uh, the point that is given there. So it's be, if you've been following my tutorial step by step, you will have exactly what I'm having here. Let's exit this sketch. And once you have that, let's go back to our first display state. And uh, let's just get into view here. Click on the front plane, press on to profile. And then um, we're going to click on this line and we're just going to pull this curvature into place. Right? So it's already pulling very nicely for us. So we don't need to add any uh, spline points on this one. So let's just pull this into position, how it needs to be, from this side. And then let's jump onto the top. And as we can see, we just need to pull this line into position from the top as well. Pull it here onto that position, into the um, corner there. And I'm just gonna double check from the front. So no more to profile. And maybe we're just going to add a little bit of curvature from here as well. And then of course, because we edited it from the front, now we're just gonna check everything from the side and from the top as well. So it looks good from the side. And let's have a look at from the top. And then it looks good from the top. Let's add a little bit more edge, tiny bit. That's fantastic. And uh, let's just have a double check again from the side. And that looks good. Okay, so now let's jump into a second display state. So now that we have these curvatures here, um, we can add our our another 3D curve here, and um, that 3D curve is going to be um, it's going to be a 3D curve, so 3D sketch curvature, and we're gonna go from this point and then just this line here. Exit the sketch and then we're just going to pull it down all the way to the end. Okay. And uh, let's just give this a profile as well. So let's click on this line here. And let's try and find a point. So it's a little bit um, maybe inward here and outward a little bit here. Yes, yeah, so, so um, just a tiny bit uh, coming out, like following this curvature here, 
and a little bit on the curving inwards here and that looks good for us it don't need much curvature on that one all right so let's exit this one here and the most crucial curvature that we're going to do is going to come from is going to come from um from this line here somewhere in the middle uh, all the way back down to that point and then that's going to be another 3d sketch through this line and then we're going to click on the, this corner here and uh, let's uh, snap it to this point here all right so that looks good uh, let's get into view here and as we can see, we need to manipulate this line. Uh, maybe we need to pull this point up a little bit down to the middle. And then let's pull this line up. So we're kind of following, following the line all the way up on like that. So that looks good, pretty good. All right, so let's have a look from the top. Okay, and then let's have it fix it up a little bit on this side as well. So as we can see, this line here really determines our uh, point of point of a curve. So that looks good there. and uh, like that and it will curve up that way all right so we're going to try this one and then let's just double check again from the side and we just need to pull this up a little bit and that looks good here as well okay so um so that looks pretty good for us and the uh, next thing we want to do is going to step out of this one and then we're going to add another 3d sketch through this spline uh, through this spline and then we're going to snap on uh, this line here and this line and we want to make sure that we are straight with that one so let's pull this line into, into a straight position okay and we're going to give this line a very nice profile so it won't it won't uh, cut into our surface so let's click on front view normal to profile and then we want to pull this line all the way past this line here so we're not cutting into anything and uh, we still have a curvature here. Okay, that looks good. All right, and then we're just gonna make sure that uh, we are, when we have this surface here, it's not going to touch any of the uh, surfaces all the way throughout. Okay, pull this back down and to this way. Okay, and then uh, let's have a, just have a look at this curvature here. And make sure we are straight as possible. Let's go curve here. All right, so let's uh, have a look at from the from. Um, from this angle that looks good from the angle as well and let's have a look at from this side as well I need to pull this down a little bit in this direction just to keep things uh, straight as possible Okay, so so far that looks good. Okay, so uh, let's try and create a surface out of this what we have. 
So let's go to surfaces and go to fill surface and then click on uh, this line, this line, this line, uh, this line, uh, this line. And then we're going to use a constraint curve, which is going to be this one. And let's see how that surface looks. Okay, so the surface looks fantastic. It looks very fantastic. And um, okay, so um, right, um, yeah, I had a phone call. So the next thing we need to do here is uh, we we need to trim out the small surface here. So let's jump over to. Let's jump over to trim surface here, surfaces, trim surface, and we're going to use this as a trim tool and we're going to cut out this here, this here. All right. We're going to select that one and then um, trim that off. Okay, so that is good. Let's just jump visual uh, things that is actually not there, but it shows it's there. All right, then we're going to go, we're going to go back to the future tree here. And then we're going to want to bring back some of the 3D sketches that it's hidden. So bring that one back. Okay. And then uh, we want to make another 3D, 3D spline. And then we're going to bring it from this one here. So let's jump into our sketch and a 3D sketch, 3D spline. And then we're going to snap onto this point. And then we want to... Uh, snap onto this edge. So exit that sketch. And then because we have this line here, uh, we can determine how far are we going to pull that line back. So I need to pull it somewhere about here. Somewhere about here and we can trim off with a little bit. Also, we can jump into our first display just to see a little bit better. And we can see already that uh, we have this beautiful line here that we can follow. So we're going to pull it down to about here. Okay, so leave that as is. Uh, exit the sketch. And we, let's jump back over to our second display state. And then let's jump into... Uh, click on the front view and then we're going to give this line the profile that's needed. So let's click on this line and edit the sketch and let's grab this handlebar and then pull it up. So we have a nice profile on that curve. Okay, so that's going to be enough of a profile for us. If not, we can edit it further. Okay, so that looks good. Exit the sketch. All right. And then uh, because, uh, let's try and do a fill surface here with these ones we have. This line, this line, this line, and this line here. I won't do it, I know it. So let's jump into another uh, 3D sketch, 3D spline. And then let's go from this point. And let's try to stay on this line here. And all the way to that edge. Exit the sketch, exit this one here, and then let's jump into a surfaces, field surface. That one is already highlighted, which is good. This one here and this one. And let's have a look at this surface here. Okay, so that surface actually looks pretty good. Um, it's kind of almost uh, losing the edge uh, at this point is what we want, but we can also add some fillets to, to lose that edge completely on that side over there, all right? So that's perfect actually. And we're looking good here as well with this double surface over there. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to quickly um, mirror this over to the other side. Futures, mirror. And for mirror face plane, clear the selection. Mirror face plane begins to this one here, and then bodies to mirror, of course. Press again on that one. 
All right. So, of course, we have to come on up here and cut this up as well. So, surfaces and then a trim surface. And it's going to be our trim tool. And then remove section is going to be this one here. Okay, so that's perfect. And then that's created us for us that double surface that we were looking for. And we, let's hide this uh, spline here and let's hide this 3D sketch uh, here. And then on the next tutorial, we're going, going, to, going to continue coming down with this surface and create the triple surface that is on underneath here so thank you very much for staying with me on this tutorial and then i'll see you back in the next tutorial all right see you then and don't forget to subscribe if you just started off on uh, looking at my channels and my tutorials also follow my tutorials from step one and then um i can assure you if you follow my tutorials you became a really awesome surface designer and all around because I'm using very complex geometries and creating complex uh, designs. All right. Thanks very much. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and yell and like my channel. All right. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.